Welcome back to Tech Habit. Today we are diving into a critical topic in power systems, load frequency control or LFC. Whether you are a student or a new professional in electrical engineering, understanding LFC is essential. So, let's get started. First, let's define load frequency control. In any power system, maintaining a constant frequency is crucial. In most parts of the world, that's 50 or 60 Hz. However, when the load changes, the frequency can deviate. LFC is the process used to maintain the system frequency within its desired limits by adjusting the output of the generators. So, why is LFC so important? Well, frequency deviations can lead to several issues. For instance, if the frequency drops to low, it can cause generators to trip offline, leading to blackouts. On the other hand, if the frequency is too high, it can damage equipment. LFC helps ensure the balance between power supply and demand, keeping the frequency stable and the system reliable. Now, let's break down how LFC works. When there's a load change in the system, say, a large industrial plant turns on, a few things happen. First, this increase in load causes the system frequency to drop. Sensors detect this frequency change and send the information to the LFC system. The LFC system then sends a control signal to the generators, instructing them to increase their output to compensate for the increased load. This feedback loop continues, constantly adjusting the generator output to keep the frequency stable. There are two main types of load frequency control, single area and multi area. In a single area system, the entire grid is treated as one entity and the LFC is relatively straightforward. However, in a multi area system, which is more common in interconnected power grids, LFC must consider the frequency and power interchange between different areas. In a multi area system, LFC not only maintains the frequency but also controls the tie line power exchange between areas to ensure that each area meets its power demand. As power systems evolve, especially with the increasing integration of renewable energy sources, LFC faces new challenges. Renewable energy sources like wind and solar are intermittent, making it harder to maintain a stable frequency. However, advanced control strategies such as adaptive LFC and integration with energy storage systems are being developed to tackle these challenges. That's a wrap on today's video. We hope you now have a better understanding of load frequency control and its role in power systems. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for 